I've been chair for the last six years. The question, biggest challenges, biggest successes. Well, first of all, I want to start by saying that IID is a very successful organization. It has been, it, it has been at work for decades. It has established a name for itself globally. It is one of the few organizations that has always been concerned both with poverty and with development. And it has always based what it does on evidence. The biggest challenges since I've been here are the challenges faced by all think tanks. And that is, how do you keep the money coming? How do you keep the money coming? How do you keep the right people in place? How do you ease out people who are no longer relevant to the organization and how do you do all of that in a way that doesn't destroy the culture of idealism mm -hmm. which generates the passion which is the reason why the organization has been successful. So I think the biggest challenge is as it is for all organizations like this, how do you keep it financed in a way that you can hire the people you want, in the way that you can be useful with your partners. How do you balance the opportunities of receiving money that may be money that isn't in exactly the easiest form to use, but you know can be applied to your program? I'm thinking the, one of the big debates was how do you use the so-called pass-through funding when a major donor, recognizing the competence of IID, wants to use IID as a means of financing others. IID has done that very well with the money from Buffett. It's doing it well with the money from Gates. But it's something that had to be thought about. So money has, has been the biggest challenge. I think that the biggest success has been carrying out successfully uh, the last five year strategy. And also a very big success in improving the way in which the organization was able to note the results to move towards an, un uh, an outcome orientation to really put in place the capacity to evaluate, to uh, measure, to reflect on results. And I think that what we saw today at the board in terms of the looking at the results of the last five years show that, but even more, the very careful approach being taken to setting up the way of doing that reflection five years hence, mm -hmm. when you're almost at the end of your term. Um, because the organization's inclination to uh, learn from what they do is now being formalized and it's part of the evaluation process. So it's not only a box ticking exercise, mm -hmm. it's really a reflective process.